So here we have a shrine for victims. The interesting thing about the German language is the word victim is Opfer. So this is a shrine for the Opfer, which could mean for the sacrifice, for the offering, or for the victim. In English, there's no other meaning for victim. Now, victim could be the victims of the Holocaust, the political prisoners who were locked up in the concentration camp in Mauthausen. Or they could be victims of many, many other things, victims of crime, victims of bullying, victims of any kind of abuse. And this is a place that functions a little bit like a, a memorial, a space where people can bring flowers and candles and objects to remember people who have suffered as victims. Some of these objects have already a really interesting story. This flower and this little elephant were collected the day before the exhibition and in the shop where we purchased them. Uh, we explained that these, were, these objects were going to be part of the Shrine for Victims which is part of the Leiblichkeit and Sexualität exhibition in the Votiv Church. And the man working in the shop said, oh, victims of the tsunami. And we said, yes, yeah, that's right. Because this work is a space for people to bring their own meaning to it. And that's very important because all of these works this is not a museum, this is a, this is a place where people bring themselves and are invited to have some kind of meaningful encounter with each of the works. And all it would take is for somebody to place a photo of a young teenager, for example, who's taken their own life because of bullying on Facebook. Place that here and then this becomes a shrine for victims of bullying. But this is a really important work to have here in the context of this, of the body as vulnerable, fragile and wounded, as corresponding with the first part of the Mass where we say, Kyrie eleison, or Herr Abamadik, Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm.